Hey guys, CoolNet09 here doing a quick review for the Game Boy, NES, and Atari review of The Empire Strikes Back from Star Wars. Um, this game was deemed one of the worst games created for all these three systems that I have played them for. And uh, my job here is I'm going to show you exactly how bad they are and why you should never even waste your time playing them. So we're going to start off with the Game Boy version. Alright, so it's in black and white. No uh, surprise there. Alright, so it's kind of hard to kill this thing and it shoots all the way, do you? What's it going to shoot up and directly in front of you? And Tauntaun looks like a freaking kangaroo. No shocker there. Now let's see what else we got here. Alrighty, let's freaking get it on. Pretty bad. Let's see what the next first speech is. So I'm going to point out something right here, right now. Uh, about 30 minutes into the first movie, Star Wars The New Hope, Luke learns what a Jedi and a, what lightsabers are, and he learns that a lightsaber is a weapon of a Jedi, and he ha carries on him for the whole movie, even while he's still on Tatooine, and goes to see his family that was slaughtered. Now, where one movie later, where Luke's supposed to be training, and for some reason the game has to tell us that he a weapon of a Jedi is a lightsaber from Ben, which never happens at all. He sees him one time on Hoth, and it tells him to go to the Dagobah system and go see Yoda. It never once says this at all. So, pure retardation there. And, well, I've been playing this game for about a straight minute, and uh, it's probably much the worst game I've ever played. Let's just see how much bad it, worse it gets. Alright, so let's get back to the game where we just fall a lot into a useless ledge. There's a lot of these. Let's fall again. Onto another one. Alright, a bridge. Let's go on a bridge. What the fuck? It breaks? Alright, being the Tauntaun's overweight. Alright, let's kill this thing. It has to be pretty easy, right? What the? One just took out all that? Two of them? That Tauntaun just disintegrated by touching them. Alright. Let's kill this thing. Yeah! Alright, shooting kind of kind of sucks. Alright, let's jump panel to panel. Falling mechanic is kind of stupid as well. This gameplay you're seeing is actually is the farthest I've gotten in the Game Boy version. It's pretty sad. I've had, what the hell is that? I've had this game for about 10-15 years and I've never been able to get past these parts. Terrible game. Don't even bother. Not even worth 25 cents. Let's uh, spend a little bit more time and we're going to go to the NES. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Space, the final frontier. Hehe. <laughs> Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back. Alright, that's kind of cool. At least that shows it, unlike the first one. Freaking Game Boy didn't show any of that. And it has its Star Wars, uh, you know, credit that shows you, explains exactly what's going on. That doesn't even happen in the Game Boy version either. Uh, you can spend your time reading that. It's basically what happens in the whole... You can see the fifth movie, or second movie, depending on how you look at it. And uh, you can read this all as well. Alrighty here, let's see what we got for the NES. <laughs> pretty good uh, song. Alright, let's space down. Wow, it's pretty good uh, showing a Vader ship. As it spits out the recon droids. The recon! Alright, pretty good uh, picture of Luke and the Tauntaun. Alright, alright, it looks the exact freaking same. Look, it just looks color this time. Tauntaun looks more like a freaking kangaroo. And look, Han Solo, the first talk of the game, and it's wrong. Do you remember the movie? Luke actually freaking does it himself, calls it in, and says he's gonna go look at it himself. He doesn't play to be Han Solo's bitch. Well, looks like that game got that part right. Freak oh, great, and we get to have this again. Freaking idiots. 
didn't spend their time. Did they even watch the movie? Alright, let's get out. Let's go around over here. All lights they represent disintegrate. That's how it should be. Alright, what do we have here? Wow. That's the actually part of the movie. Alright, maybe this game isn't a complete fail. Oh, never mind. You can shoot ice logically. That makes sense. Not. Alright, well, where's the enemy? Hey, right, there's the Wampa. Alright, there's only, you only have to fight one of these, right? There we go. Oh, and you don't even have to fight him. You can just walk away. Alright, that makes sense. Not. Alright, let's get rid of how we shoot this obstruction down. Freaking terrible game. There's another one? That doesn't even happen. Oh my god, this freaking complete monkey balls. Alright, guess you can run away from that one too. Alright. Well, there's a power up. Maybe this will help us out a little bit. Yeah. What the fuck is this faggot? Oh my god, are these credits in the first level of the game? The first two minutes into it? This game's complete crap. I don't even want to play this anymore. Oh my god, it's so bad. Alright, well. Use your power to defeat the Wampas? That never happens! Oh my god, I just want to. And the third Wampa? Alright, let's at least try killing it. Maybe the lightsaber will help us out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 hits! Alright, we're done with the NES. This game is complete shit. Let's move on to the Atari. Alright. Already can tell it's going to be pretty bad. Alright, well... I give up on games, at least for the Star Wars game anyway, on any system. Oh, it turns green, that's logical. Alright, well, you guys have seen it here. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back for these three systems, Game Boy NES and Game Boy, as well as the Atari. I just said that twice, but you know, you get the point. Alright, well, thanks for your, uh, your time, guys, and I'll uh, see you in another review. And don't buy this shitty game, it sucks ass. Alright guys, my final rating for Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Atari, NES, and Game Boy. Game Boy rating number one, total ass, NES, two, almost total ass, Atari one, total ass. This game is fucking terrible. Don't even bother playing it, just go shove it up someone else's ass and hope they can do deal with it. Next review, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Meet you guys there. May the Force be with you. Always.